Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about a perfume. We're going vintage again. We're going 90s this time around. This is the baby and it's really hard to find any information on it because it's a Jean-Paul Gaultier classic pure perfume. It's the Parfum. Uh, numbered limited edition 30 milliliters splash. It comes in this bottle, uh, in this package. You know, it has its kind of classic Classic Gautier Classique <laughs> package. It's in plastic, not in metal. And uh, this foil goes off if you want to take it off. You see, and then you have your perfume underneath. But basically, it's made to be open like this. And then you have the bottle inside. I haven't used it a lot, as you can see. And it's a splash bottle. Let's close this again and put it aside. Um, it's a bit trashed at the bottom. But like still sticker residue from the price but that's kind of more or less the information about it this little baby has a number engraved in the bottle this is number 2084 of 3000 units produced worldwide can you even see the numbering probably not this is there it's in, oh there you have it there it is 3000 and this is 2084 it's a, it has a metal corset and then the metal corset has glitter on it and it has been lacquered it's not the prettiest of things plus kind of the lacquer falls off and then you get this metal underneath and it smells very metally which is not a good thing to have in fact second you touch it you kind of your fingers smell like metal so it's um it's a complicated bottle if you want and uh, then you have a metal stopper this one however does not smell it's been chromed it doesn't smell like you see it kind of oxidates with time which is not uh, it says Gautier on the bum of the corset as we used to from the Gautier classic line uh, but nevertheless it's a it's a beautiful bottle and I love that they're making these experimental pieces from time to time I purchased this way back uh, God, when did I purchase this? I bought this in Galerie Lafayette in Paris uh, way, way, way back. I don't know. I can't even remember the year. Maybe 2009? 10? 8? I don't know. But anyway, uh, it still smells divine. And uh, you literally open it up like this as this little tiny stopper. Um, very classic. And it's, I, I, I would say, kind of a non-reformulated version of the pure perfume. I do believe that the Eau de Toilette has been reformulated. Let's just flip it over to get more liquid out here. More juices so that I can review this baby properly. All right, there you have it. Now let's read quickly the ingredients. It's so hard to find the pure perfume ingredients and I haven't found online any place where I can read the ingredients of the actual pure perfume so I'm gonna have to stick with what they tell me about the Eau de Parfum and the top notes are rum tincture of rose then we have middle notes vanilla orchid and narcissus base notes are sandalwood tonka bean amber and vanilla but for those of you who know my perfume reviews know that I often say or always say I hate vanilla in perfumes. It's just too overpowering, but not here. I don't even sense it here. Such a 90s smell of theater and what did Gautier say? He wanted it to smell like uh, lipstick and feathers and the dust of the theater before or after a show, like an old... French theater. Oh, it's very intense. It bites a little, but just a little because it has that creaminess in it as well that kind of like the cream kind of like softens out, evens out the edges of that bitey thing, which is some something alcoholic, aldehydic, benzoiny, or I don't know what it is. It's a very specific scent. 
it's very specific to the 90s. Now, I remember this very, very well in the 90s. I don't uh, remember it uh, from any other era rather than the 90s. And I purchased it the second I had some money to purchase a pure perfume and it was out. I get, I got it immediately because I, I prefer the pure perfumes to um, the other kind of softer formulations, except in, in some cases, of course. Uh, believe it or not, I do not like the pure perfume of Coco Chanel. The Coco Coco. Coco Noir is a different story, you know that. Coco Noir, I prefer the pure perfume. But Coco, it's, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. But this one is amazing. The pure perfume is just so sublime. Um, Eau de Toilette is also really good. I also have the Eau de Toilette, uh, but the pure perfume is... I also, somewhere in my archives, I would have to kind of d dig it out. Hmm, where could it be? Let me think. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. So I'm back. And while we're at it, I would think, I was thinking, let's just do this properly. I'm going to show you everything at this point. Um, so this was the special limited edition bottle. We're talking about the pure perfume. I have it on my hand. Now, this little baby is the original. Really hard to see. The reflection of the light. This is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Parfum Flacon Bottle, 30 milliliters. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> this is how it looked like. This is how the package was. It had its open here, tear, you know, tear the strap, and then you take off the foilage, and you have your beautiful can, your Gautier can. This is the original from the 90s. It's a vintage bottle. It's a vintage piece. Let's be very careful. I don't want it to fall out. And this is the actual, from the commercials, you can go and YouTube it even. I think it's uh, available on YouTube. This is the original bottle from, this is the first, first, you know, the corset, the famous Madonna corset as well. This is the first corset used for the Gautier Pure Perfume. This is also a metal corset. It's very cold to the touch. And uh, you take it off of its little stand. And you also have the Jean-Paul Gautier inscription at the bottom there. Very beautiful. This is the bottom of the can. And this is the perfume. It, it has its like the little thing that, that they put on the spray so that you wouldn't spray yourself, that you wouldn't spray your bag or whatever if you carry it around. But this is a splash. Uh, but nevertheless, they, they put this on the splash as well because it's so iconic and um, that's how basically the bottle is supposed to look like with this little thing on it. So they left it there. You, if you would purchase it, you would get it. You would get this little metal thingy, even though this is a splash and not a spray. So this is the original bottle. This one is unused and I keep it, you know, for the archive purposes, because this is when design was still daring and amazing. They wouldn't do this stuff anymore. And it has this little sponge on the inside so that, you can see it in here, so that the bottle is protected and it doesn't slip around and move around when it's closed. There you have it. Then moving on, I love the tiny little bottles. This is, uh, so this was a 30 milliliter. This is a 20 milliliter uh, rendition of a classic by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This, however, is an eau de toilette in the classic form, not the refills. So if I take this off, again, we take the foliage off and we have another little baby can here. And here we have the tiny little corseted lady in 20 milliliters, also with the Gautier insignia at the bottom. Here is all your information. And this is a tiny little 20 um, milliliter spray. I also love the Eau de Toilette, but I, I just had to have this because it's so small. I wish Chanel made, or not just Chanel, but other brands made like 20 milliliter versions of, of these perfumes because they're amazing. I love tinier and tiny bottles. It's just great. Also practical for travel. Let's put, so yeah. So you see, now you see why the purpose of this little thing. So pull here. You take it off and now you de-block the spray. So now you can actually spray it on. It's a much lighter um, scent. I would say, already smelling it in the in the air. Let me just clean this a second. Okay. 
It smells cheaper, <laughs> less rich in texture than the pure parfum does. So uh, let me hold this in this hand. This is the Eau Parfum. Uh, the Eau de Toilette is here, and the Parfum is here. Two totally different experiences because here uh, the Eau de Toilette is more bland. It's it's more empty. You know, it's more it's more flat and empty. It doesn't have that richness, that creamy, oily, textured richness. Also, the color of the liquid shows, you know, how, look how dark and intense this one is and how much lighter that one is. I mean, they're both pretty intense, but... And, um... Mm. You just want to eat this one. It's so buttery and textured and layered and opulent. Uh, it's really, really, really the Eau de Toilette maximized by 150,000. It's just, like, poof, way the, all the way, way up there. I don't know exactly if that rich, tasty bit is also like, and the roundedness of it and the kind of makeup-y feel of it is due to the Narcissus. I'm not so sure about that, but definitely I get the sandalwood and I get the, the, the spices and I get the, the, the woodsy, woodsy, woodsy heart already, like without it even developing too much. Here, it's more, it's more cheap. It's like a freshy, like an easier scent, more summery, if you want, more for the daytime. This one, if it's pretty warm outside, you need to do it. You can only use this in the evening. You could use it during the daytime, but it's not allowed to be very hot outside. And whenever I wear, um, wear, yeah, whenever I use any one of these perfumes uh, from Gautier, uh, I mean, any one of them from the classic range, from the classic range, I need to be in the right state of mind. I need to have that psychological, my God, what's wrong outside with these police cars and everything? It's like the whole city is kind of burning and in flames. So annoying. We're filming here, people. Like, it's important. <laughs> How dare you? Like, I have shit going on in the streets when we're filming a perfume review. Like, there's anything more important than a perfume review? No. So, um, as I was saying, um... You have to feel very confident. In fact, why am I yelling at the police outside? It's because I feel confident. The second you wear this, well, first you have to be ready to wear it. I was ready psychologically today because I wanted to shoot this video, so I felt it. I felt like, yeah, I feel like Gautier Classic. Let's go for it. Let's do the classic review. And you have to feel that strength and that vibe for yourself in order to be able to review it and in order to wear it the whole day because it's a perfume that demands attention and you have to be top-notch to pull this perfume off with your attitude. You got to be sassy in a way and zesty because um, this perfume is like all of the amazing and incredible commercials that have followed it and that have surrounded it and framed it from the 90s to today. Um, like the commercials, it's very baroque, very opulent, very, very rich in a very sophisticated, very French way, though. It's a very French fragrance. I have to add that. It's a very typical French 90s fragrance. Poison by Christian Dior, on the other hand, the review, you can also check it out. I did that as well. It's not a typical, uniquely French type of scent. This one is, I would say. It's a very, very 90s French scent, classic. Le Mal, on the other hand, is a different story. They're, they kind of came out almost at the same time. But definitely do me a favor, go check out the original first commercial for Classic by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's a masterpiece. I think Jean-Baptiste Mondino um, directed the video. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to check that out too. Uh, check that out. It's beautiful. An art piece. The perfume itself, if you manage to get the pure perfume, that's the art piece. Eau de Toilette. It's okay, but it's a compromise. It's way more powdery in a way, in a subtle way powdery, like a cheaper powder. This one here is gonna get powdery with time, but it ain't powdery yet. It's still rich and creamy. Like the powder maybe is gonna kick in later, but um, the Eau de Toilette is, is watered down. It's so much watered down. The Parfum, it's an olfactory orgasm because it makes you really feel like you wanna, you wanna, you wanna eat it. You really wanna eat it, eat it up and swallow it and, and regurgitate it and <laughs> re-swallow like a cow. You know what cows do they, in the meadow, the grass, and it comes up again and they re-chew, re-swallow because they have a lot of stomachs. 
That's what this perfume does to you on an, on an olfactory level because it makes you kind of discover different niches inside of your nose and inside of your um, olfactory senses. So you could kind of re-chew and re-swallow and re-experience the perfume over and over again because it's so layered in texture. Even though those ingredients are pretty simple from what we read online, it's so beautiful, very, very rich, but it requires the right state of mind. You cannot wear it every day. I can't wear it every day. No, not at all. But I can look at it every day because the concept, the artwork of this perfume, the all-around uh, aspect of this perfume, and it's just perfection to me. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful statement of, of, of design, of European design from the 90s. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this review. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Give me comments in the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, 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 more. We're producing, producing, producing. So love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.